have 30 minutes left, but we're switching games. <sighs> Time for some wine? No, because I have to work tomorrow. Jilly has sanity. That's a discovery. Wow, Sajida. Wow. <sighs> so we gotta load. So this is my game that I've been playing on my side. We're not doing that one. <laughs> How dare you! Off. You know, Fablerta, you learn stories from. Maybe the story we learned today is that the anniversary edition is fucking garbage. <laughs> it's possible that's what we just learned for the Fable game. But I've seen other people play the anniversary edition, and I know they don't have as many problems. So maybe it's because I chose to be evil so early on. <laughs> I probably should have waited a little. I don't know. Rolf, we'll, 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 I'll deal with it later. It wasn't supposed to be the game that we were playing today. No, it should have been a problem. It should not be a problem. And it wasn't supposed to be the game that I was going to play tonight. Um, it was the filler because I couldn't get the game that I wanted to start playing to function just yet. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. So we're going pillars too. So they want to penalize you. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just saying. It's like the Phantom Vampire fight all over again. But with more punching of children. <laughs> and not a god. By the way, when are you playing Resi again? Uh, that was mentioned earlier, Sechita. And you weren't here, obviously. No, he was. Um, he just doesn't listen. No, he doesn't listen. It's fine. Um, next week. I was gonna do it tonight, and I was gonna do it Friday, but the big problem we have is that Isaac's spending all of his time prepping for his D&D &D session this weekend, and as a result, I figured it was best if he focused on that instead of being pushed away. So, for those of you who haven't been here yet, this is my hunky hunky wizard. We killed a group of people and took this hat, and we killed a woman in town and we took her dress, and that's why we look like this. <laughs> but, um, no, we're starting it up again next week Because I was gonna do it today or Friday But I, we decided that I'm gonna be doing lots of streaming this week Because D is D uh, Isaac wants time to work on D&D &D. Okay I'm not dealing with that just yet I have all this I have 356, which is not a lot I know that the money ramps up pretty quickly in this, thankfully. It's not right. This is... Oh, you know what? We should change the game, huh? Game. There we go. Pillars of Eternity 2, guys. It is very pretty. So... We're going into the Kraken's Eye. You can't really interact with much of anyone unless they have... If I hit tab, it highlights things like this barrel that I can interact with. Which has Grog. Um, I have another isometric um, video game I would like to show you guys at some other point, but not today. Um, that is Pathfinder Kingmaker. Because I know a lot of people probably have not seen it. And uh, what little of it I've played, there's a lot of things I've really enjoyed about it. So this symbol means I can't, st I can't, I don't want to touch that. Otherwise it means I'm stealing. I'm not stealthy enough to do that, even if I'm trying to do an evil character. I should probably stop killing people willy-nilly like I have been, because it causes me problems. Um, one thing I learned about this, too, is that you have reputations. So currently with the Children of the Dawn Stars, which are a group of cultists slash priests that uh, basically are worshipping the dead god Aethys, who has somehow come back to life, which she is insisting is not Aethys, it is gone. Um, I have a plus one to them. From what you remember, you were setting up camp with those who survived the shipwreck. You know, they're, they're fine on the beach. Port Ma Maje, Maye, whatever, we're there right now. We have a negative one, probably because we killed someone. And this shows all different dispositions. Apparently, my clever disposition is slowly going up. And then if you click on her, you'll see what negative aspects I can do in conversations that will piss her off. She doesn't like anti-religious people because she's a priest. I think I made her a monk, actually. 
Um, she doesn't like someone who's being irresponsible. She does not like skullduggery. She takes a dim view of people who employ underhanded and deceptive tactics to get their way. She loves pro eothasian so basically anyone that supports the god Eo Eothis uh, chugs the barrel. <laughs> yeah, the grog barrel. She uh, likes anyone who's lighthearted. She likes anyone who's impassioned, and she loves it when you're worldly. My other character, she loves that character because that character's uh, background is an explorer, so I get a lot of options to be like, I'm so wor worldly, and she's just like, really? Constantly. Um, I don't know how to feel about her right now because her whole deal is her lantern has a stone in it called Audra, and Audra is what souls are attached to, and the so she's basically following me around because she, she knows I'm a watcher, and she wants to gather up the souls of the departed because I would be able to see them where she wouldn't be able to. And I don't know if I want to help Amethyst because he kind of destroyed my keep when he came back. Race and he seems like a pain in the no ass. Contest. What? Just because you have webbed fingers and I... You are a strange man. He's a strange man. Wheelie? What, you remember you were sitting up? Yeah. So she wants to use all the souls you're gathering for her fucking lantern. She's gathering the souls for her god. For Aethys. Because the whole thing with Pillars of Eternity is souls are power. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you feeling up my boob? Uh-huh. I have a crush on you. And I really like We're grabbing everything. Okay, so... She can have that. I think with my other game, and I might do the same with her on this one, we gave her a pistol. She actually hits pretty hard with it. What? Time for you to get back to financial stuff. Bye, Makani! Thank you for showing up! Don't we hate Aethys? <sighs> we're... We don't know what the hell we think of Aethys. We've been told we're supposed to hunt him down and stop him. Keep in mind that Aethys was the god that ended up interfering by taking on a mortal form. He basically possessed another mortal farmer and was the result of the Saints War, which ended up causing that farmer to die and Aethys to be destroyed by the god's weapon. The, uh, I forget what was it, God's Fire or something. I forget what it was called. The God's Cannon. Um, Aethys had come back one part to stop Wodica. And Wodica, because Wodica was using Theos to gather all the souls to gain power so that she could become the head of the gods again. Um, Have you ever seen so I don't know how I feel about her yet. Like that? Sure. A weather mage is a useful person to have on a crew. But to tame a storm? That one woman frightens me. Damn it. All this is just stealing. We can't do that. What did I make her in this? Because I know in my other game she's a monk. Oh, she is a monk. She's a monk and a priest. I did keep her the same. What can I do you? All right. Sorry, guessing you're the one came in off that shipwreck down south. Not sure if that's good luck or bad, but here, I figure you deserve a drink. Yeah, honey. You've gained an item. Ingredients ale. The item was put in your stash. How can you tell? Water. No secret to it. We haven't had a new ship in port since the storm rolled through. And yet, here's a stranger in my tavern. From what you've heard, Aethys emits needy, demanding bottom energy and starts drama just for drama and BS. <laughs> Bye, Zero Chan. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about him yet. What's this about the rooms? You aren't the first outsider to turn up looking for a place to stay after their ride off the island ended up at the bottom of the sea. Can you guys hear this properly? Well, tell you what. I've got one room or two have been cleared out by now. Only the occupants decided to outstay his welcome. Real trouble is, he hasn't settled his bill. He's a merchant captain by the name of Galleon. I've given him a fair chance, but he's been a right prick about the whole thing. I've got a spare key here. You chase him and his pals off, and the room's yours. At a discount. Slides the key across the counter towards you. You want him dead? What? No! I said chase him off, not kill my patrons. Now I'm not so sure about asking you, honestly. 
<laughs> what if he won't we leave willingly? Ah uh, well. He's a prat, but he's not so tough. Smack him around if it comes down to it. But I figure a few sharp words ought to do the trick. Um How about you pay me instead? Mercenary type, are you? That's fine. I'll throw in a reward and the discount stands. How's that? I like that. I didn't get that last time. I don't want the man dead, and that's not what I'm paying for. Just see him on his way, and we'll call it done. Okay. Um, I'm not strong enough to be doing a whole. Oh, that's right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a druid, wizard. So I have all these spells. I got mutter. My darling loves me. I never actually went out that- I think that door just leads outside. Look, look at the drunken bitch. Uh, how does it work? You inhale. No, I don't. I don't care. Day. Hello. Ah, a new face. You've heard, of course, that Norgund remains the most reliable and discreet supplier of uh, mostly legitimate wares? Wow. Are you looking for something in particular? Show me mostly legitimate. I am an honest merchant, sir. <clears throat> I confess that the tools I supply have an unjustly sinister reputation. How my clients decide to use these items is not my responsibility, after all. Wait, you aren't strong enough to skip around a little? You'll feel stronger later. What? What are you talking about? Show me what you have for sale. Inns. Inns, sir. Oh, this is. Just, I already know that. Inns do serve multiple purposes. You can recruit from them, which is what we will be doing. Um, and you could rest in them, and depending on how much money you get, how much money you pay on the room you get, you get little different bonuses. What is Dead Eye? Peculiar concoction widely used by spear fishers. Dead Eye focuses vision and steadies one's aim. This pale fluid is administered in small drops directly to the eyes. The immediate effects are remarkable, and the drug itself is not known to be addictive, though it does cause disorientation and vision problems for some time after use. In other words, drug. Would you like some drug? How about drug? Do you think you would be okay with some, you know, drug? Sell this. Let me just sell some of these. Like, all of them, except for one. Let's sell one of these, one of these, two of these. Because we need some money. We're keeping those, we're keeping those. We're trading that. And I'm gonna take a small break because I have to go pee, which means I will be RB. BRB. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bodhi was <laughs> in the hallway staring at me when I came out. Can I... Uh, oh, I can actually go in that? <clears throat> Let's go and see what this is. Maybe I was wrong. Isn't that best not to stare? No, we're taking your stuff. What is this? Barrett spell. It's fine. Those Dawn Stars think everything is Aethys is doing as if he'd trouble himself. It's the Dawn Stars of the Cultists. Don't ordering more drinks. Thought I'd locked that thing. 
The glassy-eyed gentleman before he bears the miserable expression of the recently sober. He also smells like he's been pickling in a casket for a few days. You've got the wrong room. I know you company men like to wander in and plant the flag anywhere you please, but kindly wander back out again. He's from Old Valia. He makes a mocking sweep of his, the arm and nearly unbalances himself. Try not to slam the door on your way out, yeah? My head's going to pieces. Um... You've got until I count to ten to get your things and get out. Gellium blinks at you and then his companions. He bursts into laughter. <laughs> Did Thorold put you up to this? You really want to get your teeth kicked in on his behalf? Get out of here before you regret it. <laughs> Thorold said I could get rough if I had to. This has been real fun. But I think I've had enough of you now. He straightens up, wobbling slightly on his feet, and brings up his fists. Beside him, a stocky Almawa woman has a much less showy job of settling into a ready stance. Ow. This is gonna be a problem. Ow, ow. I don't think this is gonna go well. Here. Um. So I didn't intend for this. And I don't think this is gonna go very well. Say your prayers. It's just... <laughs> oh, I'm in a... Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Here, kill Baru. And you, do this. Gillian takes a half step towards his companion, his expression anguished. Okay, look, we're done. All right. You found the hard way that cooled Mochi with a Zuki paste was the worst, but what? What is a Zuki paste? Ugh. It's been a hard week for all of us. The truth is, I've been seeing something like three of you for a while now, okay? It's all it's all very fuzzy. <laughs> Should I say your mis- I don't think there's enough of us to do this, to say your mistake, so just get out of here. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. He stumbles past you and raises an arm to motion his compatriots onward. Uh, I don't know what it is that you had, Zara Chama. It sounds gross. Hey, it's scroll of withdraw. I'm gonna use that. As you wish. So withdraw um, in the first game was like supposed to be really good if you used it properly. It basically removes a character from battle and puts them into like this shell. It makes them so. Let's see, invisible plus ten point five. Health restored for three seconds, and then they become untargetable, and then they're stunned for 21 seconds. So the entire time that they're invisible, they can't move. They're basically put into, like, a stasis bubble that no one can touch them in, and they slowly regenerate health. It was supposed to be a really, really good spell to get used to in the first game. Kaneko, thank you for the 200 bits. That was very sweet. Um, but it was supposed to be, like, a really good skill to use in the first game, and I always forgot to use it. How are you, Kaneko? How are you doing? Hi, Pom. We all know that Zoro's a weeb. It's fine. You don't have to be a weeb to enjoy mochi. I like mochi. Still kicking, eh? I don't like the Americanized mochi as much, though. I like a lot of the original flavors. Those <laughs> strawberries probably Americanized. <laughs> I do like green tea mochi, as long as it's a decent green tea ice cream. Because I've had green tea ice cream that tastes like soap, and it's disgusting. I cleared out that room for you. Hey, good work. Times like these, I can't afford to keep on anyone who can't pay their tab. The second word got around, I'd have every pauper in the city on my doorstep. <clears throat> the room's yours if you want it. And for a job <clears throat> done, here's your pay. Oh, 1,200 copper! This is not like traditional D and D. The only coin is copper, but I needed that. Okay, reason why I needed that. What will it be? Let me see what you have. Like two copper pieces to rub together. No offense. Well, I do now. 
because we're gonna recruit adventurers since a deer we don't know what happened to him Kanako! Thank you for the extra 200 bits. What did you say? You're sick and abusing this bit thing to get the emotes because you're bored? <laughs> That's very sweet. And <laughs> abuse away for emotes. Okay, so you can, we can get pre-made characters or we can make our own. Let's make our own. Higher level 1 adventurer, yes. We need a fighter. So are we gonna have a male or a female fighter? We can have, let's, I wanna see what the female's portraits are. Can we have a very angry woman? Can we have a godlike? I haven't done a godlike really. Oh, they're plus one dexterity, plus one intellect. What about Amala? She's a lesbian. <laughs> Just, it's like a getting a rogue, it's like a getting a ro uh, a rogadin from uh, Final Fantasy XIV. It's like they all look like lesbians. <laughs> What a dwarf female. What do they do? Plus two might, plus one constitution, minus one dexterity. I can get behind that. Let's get an angry dwarven woman. So, mountain dwarves are the most well-traveled race in Aeora. They are incredible journeys, have exposed them to all manner of lethal hazards, giving them resistance to constitution afflictions. Or the boreal dwarf. In boreal dwarf lands, primordial creatures uses fungi and plants. And wilder, ogre scalders, trolls, vithrak, and zarips have long preyed on hunters. Generations of conflict have given the boreal dwarves an increased chance to graze against them rather than miss. So they have a better chance of hitting those. So primordial oozes fungus and plants. It's living plant matter and slimes. Um, ogres, they're basically ogres. I don't remember what Skulders are. Trolls, you obviously know what those are. Vithrak are essentially the mind flayers of this world. They're like spider heads. Um, but they are all psionic and everything. It's very obvious that they're just a rip-off of mind flayers. Um, and Zorups are essentially rip-offs of kobolds. No constitutional effect does sound neat. Yeah, it does. Well, it's not a no constitutional. They have a resistance to it. I can't echo thank you for more bitties. Let's do the constitution. Would you like to make a single class or a multi-class? Let's do a straight up single class. Actually. No, I want a straight up single class. Wait. Previous. Multi-class. First class, fighter. Resources discipline, plus one survival, intimidate, streetwise, athletics, and explosives. Damn straight. And then subclass, what's this? Black jackets. <clears throat> Start with an additional weapon set and weapon proficiency. Reduced recovery time penalty when switching weapons. Uh, which means if they switch to a different loadout. Yeah. Mm. Devoted. Increased penetration with their... Ch Devoted are dedicated to the pursuit of a single weapon to the exclusion of all others. They are so attuned to the techniques of their chosen arms that other arms feel bizarre and alien to them. Because of their extreme specialization, devoted academies ac yeah, academies often consist of a single master or a tiny cadre of like-minded disciples. That's actually pretty good. Penalty. Accuracy is penalized whenever using a weapon that is not their chosen weapon. Unbroken. Plus one engagement. Ooh, this makes them better. To, um, so plus one engagement is for every point of engagement they get, they get an, have an extra enemy focus on them. So essentially tank and super tanky the more engagement you get. Uh, increased penetration on disengagement attacks, so anything that tries to break away from them, they get a higher chance of dealing damage through their armor. Gain shield mastery, providing bonuses, armor rating while wearing a shield. Lower stride in combat. Kaka, thank you for the mobities! She's <laughs> just solely abusing those. Lower stride in combat. Stride represents how quickly a character can run in combat with higher scores covering more ground. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm getting a devoted. What is a tactician though? Restores discipline when successfully interrupting an enemy action. I don't care about that. Gain brilliant tactician. While all enemies are flanked and no allies are flanked, gain the brilliant inspiration. I don't know what the brilliant inspiration is. What is brilliant? Intellect inspiration. Brilliant characters have plus five intellect, use their abilities and spells at plus one power level, and periodically regain class resources. Wow. Um. I don't know how often that would happen. I'm gonna go with Devoted, because I usually don't switch out the weapon modes all that much. 
knockdown. What's discipline? Fighter intensely focuses on their training, gaining the aware inspiration for a short period of time. Can I go make it for 200 more bitties? Guess what is brilliant? I just read it! <laughs> did you miss that? Wait, did you seriously miss that, Kem? Pom, thank you for the 200 bitties! Are you guys having a war now? The, the box that keeps on popping up with the little rainbow lights out of it is kind of cute. You'd be devoted to that sexy cowboy Weezer, too. <laughs> uh, discipline gives aware for 15 seconds. What's aware? Plus 5 to perception, which means better chances of hitting. 50% of grazes are converted to hits. Concentration for 15. Concentration can be gained through spells, abilities, talent. Each point of concentration that a character possesses will prevent a single interrupt effect from being applied to them. Afterwards, that concentration effect is removed. Um, I like knockdown. But I was thinking, what if I did barbarian afterwards? Can I go thank you for the more biddies? This is like just biddies like crazy. I'm gonna. I, I kind of want to do fighter barbarian. Berserker, Corpse Eater, Mage Slayer, Fury Shaper. Oh, no. Not f Corpse Eater. Often loathed by their enemies, Corpse Eaters consume the flesh of fallen foes to gain their power. That's gross. Ugh. Palm, thank you for the 200 bitties. <laughs> yeah, target a hostile deceased kith, wilder, or beast to devour their corpse, healing the barbarian and granting them rage. I don't. That's gross. Can you imagine her just... We're an evil party. Why wouldn't she do this, though? But... All rage abilities are increased by... In cost by one. Kaneko, thank you for more biddies! Shared rewards to three others in chat. I don't even know what that means. What is it... So what is it doing? Isaac is, like, the one that pays more attention to these than you do. You got the lesbian pride emote from you. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, a M A B N B though? I don't know what that one is. What is A M A B N B? I'm just. My <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bitties. <laughs> Looks like fun dudes. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bitties. Oh my god, dooms! Oh. <laughs> uh... Oh no, that just popped up. I'm like, you guys are doing it so fast, it's so behind. Um, I think I'm gonna say no subclass because I don't know what the I don't I don't want to add another one. Frenzy plus 25% action speed plus minus 10. Um, barbaric yell, let out a frightful yell, causing enemies in the area effect to be shaken. Yes, a manly, a, a, a strong womanly yell. Let's go. Just. Do that. Was constitution we want decently high. This we're gonna want decently high. Yeah, because it increases deflection. Intellect we don't care much about. Perception we do, sort of. Because it increases your accuracy. What is intellect? Area of effect, ability duration, plus zero will. Ugh, minus two will. No, I don't want her to be like. Pom, thank you for the 300 bits! Okay. What do we want her to be? Plus one resolve. What is this one? Plus one dexterity. Plus one resolve. Plus one intellect. I can give her plus one dexterity and it actually causes her to not be horrible, but at the same time. I could give her just more might so she just hits things harder or we can give her yeah let's give her more might she's gonna hit things harder she's from the living lens also kanaka thank you for the 200 biddies i'm missing all your guys uh, your guys little things you missed y'all thank you palm and boom boom shaka da room all right last one love you if you gave her <laughs> thank you kanako you're super sweet oh my god dooms <laughs> more emotes <laughs> Why would I make her a scientist? This woman is not a scientist. She is, at the very least, a mercenary. We're gonna give her this. Okay. She Oh, because she only gets one weapon type. So, I already figured out what I want her to be. She is getting, straight up, this little dwarf woman 
is getting a two-handed sword. A great sword. We're gonna give her a great sword. That's what she's hitting. No. Great sword or two-handed mace? I don't know. Palm, thank you for the 200 bits. Dilly, you broken yet? Isaac's the one that breaks on these more than I do. I'm just like... I already broke earlier with Whisper from Fable. But I very much appreciate all of your guys' bits. They're very sweet. And they're adorable. And they're and you guys are all very sweet and adorable. And it's great that you guys support us because we don't, like, yeah. Yeah. But it's really nice that you guys support us. It's great. Big Brother of the Mace Morning Stars are two-handed weapons topped with a spiked head. I'm gonna give her this because I never use these. We're gonna have a giant two-handed mace in our group. That doesn't look like anything like her. Where is she? Where, where are the women? They're all down here. Um, let's just make her look like this. I want her to look like this. This is, this is what she's gonna look like. So clothing color. Pri okay, secondary clothing color, red. Primary clothing color, like this. Because that's what she's wearing. Skin. She's gonna be Uh, more like this. That's fine. Hair. Brown. Secondary. Eh, it's more brown, isn't it? I think so. I think it's more brown. Eyes. We'll make a blue. She's beautiful. She doesn't have blue eyes in there at all. What am I doing? Brown. You'll never see her eyes anyways. What gives you all the emotes? It's the the biddies that's giving them the emotes, apparently. What the hell is that? Is that just a horn with rainbows coming out? It's, it's like the end of a unicorn horn, just like spitting colors out. Um, I just realized what time it is. I need to finish creating her at the very least. I d this is not her. This is not her. Look at this. Look at the look at that hair. <laughs> look. <laughs> I can make her look like this. She just looks beautiful. <laughs> Dudes, thank you for the 200 pennies. Oh my god, what is that? Just, she's beautiful. Just, there's no hair that looks like this. Like, the closest you can get is this one. I'm actually fine with this one. We're gonna use this one. But what about her face? Because I know the face can change. Oh my god. Quiggles, thank you for the 20 bits. <laughs> uh, you watch trashy ads to let you know that the bitty sharing allows people to unlock gay or gender queer emotes on Twitch, but why do I have a lesbian one? Because you're now a lesbian. What the hell happened to her face? I think Izzik's motioning for me to like... Get off. Let me get, let me get in. Bring them down. Keeping an eye out. Yes. It's perfect. What are we gonna make her hunched? She just does problems. Roguish, sassy, stoic, sullen. She's just an angry, energetic, savage, hunched. Yes. What is her name? What are we calling her? <laughs> there. There. Brumhilda. Igor. Oh. <laughs> so we're not calling her slave out we're calling her Broomhilda, but we're spelling it like this. It's very dwarvish. <laughs> you want to join in on the pride support? We're going to be ending in a second, because Isaac wants me to get off. I think he wants to spend some time with me. I don't blame him. So we have Broomhilda now, who can go to the front of the line. <laughs> so, but we're going to have to, like, give her crap. What is this? Here. So we lost her great look already. And I don't think we have a weapon for her, so we're gonna have to go get one. 
Here, we can put a we can put a hood on her. Here, what what if we made her into a pirate? She's beautiful already. It's like she was made for this life. What? <laughs> um she comes with a one-handed sword and it's like it's not even good for her. Like here, you can have a bow, but it's shit. You got a gay Falman. I have seen that salmon. I didn't know where that came from. Um, so we're gonna be saving this. Kraken's Eye, Dilly's Evil Run. We're saving this one here. Um, and we are gonna find another stream to send you guys to. I am. Um, we appreciate all all that you guys do for being here. Um, I hope you enjoyed Whack a Mole today. For those of you who got to participate. Um, <laughs> Or at least be part of it. <laughs> Where we wonder about everyone who has four digits at the end of their name. <laughs> oh. And I know he's trying so hard to make us angry and he just can't. It's just, it, you just want to tap him on the head and just be like, there, there, it's okay. It's just, it's fine. One day things will be dooms! Thank you for the 200 bits for our <laughs> Gonna send you guys. To, you know what, Artful Dodge is playing Dead by Daylight, and Artful Dodge we have not sent you guys to in a while, so you guys are going to go to Artful Dodge and enjoy Dead by Daylight. He's a great streamer, and he's a very nice guy. So, thank you for coming, and have a wonderful night. Goodbye!